After months of waiting, we finally have some news on the Dr. Stone anime. Season 3, which was expected by most fans to come out sometime in 2022, has been officially set to release in 2023. It's also been confirmed that an all-new Dr. Stone special episode will air this summer of 2022. While we do have a new trailer and poster, there's still a lot that hasn't been revealed yet. We don't know how many episodes there'll be in Season 3, and we don't know what this Ryusui special will cover. That's why in this video, I'm gonna go over the news about Season 3 and the Ryusui special, and discuss everything we can expect to see. Before I get started, make sure to comment with your thoughts on the Dr. Stone news. I'll pick my favorite and share it as comment of the week in the next video. This week's comment goes to Chromafire for sharing their thoughts on Chainsaw Man. If you'd like more Dr. Stone and other manga discussions like this one, then make sure to subscribe and follow along with each week's video. So to get started, let's just address the elephant in the room. You will, in fact, need to wait a year before you can get a new season of Dr. Stone. And look, I get it, it's rough. But here's the good news. Considering the last season aired in the winter, that's a pretty good sign that we only have to wait until winter 2023. Think about it, if season 3 airs winter 2023, so pretty much exactly a year from now, then that would mean the Ryusui special would be roughly right in the middle. So it seems like winter 2023 is a pretty good estimate, with the Ryusui special given to us halfway through as a way to reward fans for their patience. It's not a guarantee though, because again, everything I'm saying is pure speculation, and they could just as easily release season 3 in the spring or summer season. But considering everything else we know, and the fact that we're looking at more than a year in between seasons, winter 2023 is a pretty safe guess. Now, unfortunately, that's the only thing that's been confirmed about the new season. We know roughly when it will start, but we don't know how many episodes there'll be. And before I get ahead of myself, I want to just debunk the theory that this confirms a two-core season. To be clear, no one has confirmed how many episodes there will be for Season 3. And yes, the fact that we have to wait a bit in between seasons does support the argument that this is a result of more time being spent on 24 episodes rather than 11 or 12. But at the same time, it could just as easily be a result of some issue we don't know about. TMS does work on other projects, so it's possible that this longer wait is due to some kind of delay or an inability to properly budget their animators. It might have just been a delay caused by COVID restrictions. Again, without any information, the wait is just a wait and doesn't confirm or disaffirm anything. But in all seriousness, it's pretty clear that this new season will be two full cores. Season 1 was 24 episodes and adapted roughly 2.5 chapters per episode. Season 2 was 11 episodes and adapted close to 2 chapters per episode. So Season 3 will probably be, you guessed it, right around 2 to 2.5 chapters per episode, which pretty much debunks any theory that Season 3 will only be one core. The only way TMS could logically do Season 3 in one core is if they only adapted Age of Exploration. In theory, that wouldn't be so bad, because, you know, Age of Exploration is awesome and has that crackhead energy I loved about the first season, but it would lead to a major problem in pacing. Age of Exploration is only 18 chapters, so even if TMS only did 11 episodes, it wouldn't even come close to 2 chapters per episode. And yeah, you could argue TMS suddenly decided to rush the anime, which low-key is something I'm going to cover in another video, so stay tuned for that one. But considering all the effort they put into Season 2, and the fact that they're bothering to make an original episode this summer kind of makes that unlikely. So it seems pretty clear that based on this information we have right now, Season 3 will adapt all of Part 3 and will consist of two full cores. But speaking of that TV special, let's talk about the next batch of anime news. In case you've been petrified for the last year or so and didn't watch the new trailer, the TV special has been confirmed to be an anime original episode revolving around our favorite trust fund Luffy. This was confirmed with the release of a new trailer during this year's Jump Festa event, which for those of you who don't know is kind of like Comic-Con for Shonen Jump. Now, the trailer itself is pretty straightforward. We get a line from Senku about needing a super skilled navigator, which is pretty much a direct quote from what he says in the manga. Then we see Ryusui's statue suddenly revived. At that point, he says the same line he did in the manga. 
but then follows it up by saying, I'll take you all to new worlds yet charted by humanity. To my memory, he doesn't say that last part verbatim, but it's 100% something he would say. Now, after that, we get a confirmation in the trailer that this TV special titled Ryusui will be released this summer of 2022. So the trailer itself doesn't tell us too much beyond the very basic details. As far as we know, there will be a special episode and Ryusui seems to be the focus of this episode. That's what we know for a fact, but everything else is unclear. First of all, at what point does this take place? Is it right when they revive Ryusui? Is it some kind of flashback that gives us his backstory? There's nothing in the trailer that gives us a definitive answer, but there are some potential hints on the Japanese website. If you go to the article covering the recent announcement, it describes the Rusui special as, quote, the continuation of the original episode of the second season. At least that's the Google Translate version of the original Japanese, so, you know, take that with a grain of salt. Either way, the fact that original is thrown in there does give us some idea of what we can expect. Even if this is some kind of recap of season two, the fact that it's described as original tends to suggest that there will be at least some kind of anime original content, which is a perfectly reasonable assumption when you consider that TMS is no stranger to anime original content. Now, on top of that, the fact that the special is described as a continuation of season two implies that this episode will in fact take place after the events of season two. Which to some of you might seem like a oh gee you don't say moment, but trust me there's more to it. If this was gonna be some kind of look at Ryusui before the events of Dr. Stone, then it would kind of go against the idea that this special takes place after Stone Wars. We do technically learn about Ryusui after Stone War, so in that sense you could maybe argue it's a continuation of the story, but it still doesn't seem like the specific focus of this special. In fact, if you scroll down to the bottom of the article, you can read what the new voice actor for Ryusui has to say about the episode. He says that the new episode, quote, depicts the adventures toward a new world unexplored by humankind. Again, also Google Translate. So this focus on the adventures of the new worlds tends to imply that, even if we do see some of Ryusui's backstory, it's going to be a minor part of the episode. One final thing I want to point out is, if you look at the voices listed at the very bottom, it lists the voices for Senku and Ryusui and then says, and others. This could just be describing the cast of season three, which I only hope has more than two voices, but it also suggests that there will be more than Ryusui and Senku in this special. It's just something I wanted to point out since in the trailer, they only list Senku and Ryusui. So right now, this is everything we can put together. The episode will be centered around Ryusui and the adventures of the new world. It will take place after season two, and it will likely have some kind of anime original content. Based on all that, here's what I think we're gonna get in the Ryusui episode. This special episode will most likely be a repeat of what they did with the episode zero, or the special feature before season two. In the special feature, we see Senku and Ruri talking the night before their surprise attack on Homura. Ruri asks Senku how he and Tsukasa came to be enemies, which sets up about 20 minutes or so of recap. After that, they show the fight between Homura and Kohaku. And if you apply everything we talked about with the Ryusui special, it all fits with the special feature. It takes place after the previous season and consisted of an anime original scene, which makes it all the more likely that they're going to rinse and repeat with the Ryusui special. And here's how I think it's probably going to go down. In the special feature, they skipped right to the night before the attack, which avoided entirely spoiling episode one of season two. So in the Ryusui special, it'll probably take place after episode one of season three. It'll be some kind of downtime scene where the characters are talking about how they need a captain and then someone like Ruri asks why they need a captain in the first place. At which point a recap of season two will follow. Then like they did with the Homura fight, we'll get to see the scene of Ryusui being revived in the anime. Now obviously, since this episode is titled Dr. Stone at Ryusui, I'm sure it'll be more than just recap, but like I've been saying, it's hard to say with confidence just how much they'll show. They could include some anime original scenes of Ryusui, but I really don't know what they could show besides his revival. The only thing I can think of is Minami talking about her perspective of Ryusui as a journalist. 
Manga fans will recall that Minami would do stories on Ryusui and has seen him in person, so maybe we'll get some original content following those events. But anything beyond his revival or this stuff with Minami seems pretty unlikely. Like, yeah, the episode is probably going to be pretty spoilery already, but anything else would be just way too much of a spoiler. But for now, it seems like we won't have a definite answer until the release of the episode this summer. After that, manga fans can consume massive amounts of copium as the manga ends, and anime fans can patiently wait for the long-awaited and incredibly epic Season 3. And that's it for this discussion. If you enjoyed this discussion, then make sure to like the video. Also make sure to comment with your thoughts down below. And if you'd like more Dr. Stone and other manga discussions like this one, then make sure to subscribe and follow along with each week's video. Thank you for watching, and I hope to hear from you soon.